In this video, I'd like to look at the relationship between Passover and Holy Week. Um, it turns out that when you read the Gospels, it gives the impression that the Passover, you know, in the Synoptic Gospels, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, it suggests that the Last Supper on what we call Maundy Thursday or Holy Thursday uh, was a Passover meal. But if you read John, John says that Jesus died on the cross on Passover. In fact, he died on the cross at the time the Passover lambs were being sacrificed. So the question is, how should we think about these things? Now, I will tell you flat out, I do not believe there's a contradiction in Scripture. I believe that the accounts that we have are true. But the question is, how do we, how do we reconcile them, and what are the implications of each of them? So let's, let's start with the, well, well, let's start at the beginning of Holy Week. Um, Palm Sunday, the triumphal entry. Now, with the triumphal entry, frequently what people will tell you is it's four days before the Passover, which puts the Passover at the Last Supper. And that date is really important because according to Jewish law, four days before the Passover, the lambs that are going to be sacrificed for Passover are brought into the city. And they're there to be inspected to make sure that they are, they are spotless, they're without blemish, and therefore eligible for the sacrifice, which will then take place on the 14th day of the month of Nisan, uh, before the beginning of Passover at sunset. Now, assuming that that's the case, this is a really remarkable thing, because what we have then is Jesus coming into the city with the Passover lambs, all of which, by the way, came from Bethlehem. The shepherds in Bethlehem raised lambs specifically for the Passover. And it was only Bethlehem lambs, because it's pretty close to Jerusalem, it's only Bethlehem lambs that are used for the Passover. So Jesus, the ultimate Passover lamb from Bethlehem, is coming into the city on the day that is appointed for the Passover lambs to come in. Over the next days, those lambs are inspected. Jesus is inspected. You see the Pharisees, you see the Sadducees asking him questions, trying to trap him, and they fail. They, they can find no fault in his answer, so much so that they become afraid to even ask him any more questions. And then that would bring us to Passover on Thursday. Now, the problem with that is the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John, we're told that six days before the Passover, which would be, well, in John, that's Saturday, because... He sees the Passover. He argues that the Passover is Friday. Six days before the Passover, Jesus is in Bethany with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. In the Eastern Orthodox Church, this is celebrated as Lazarus Saturday. Then the next day, it says, which makes it five days before the Passover, Jesus enters the city. That means it can't be the four days before the Passover where he's coming in with the Passover lamps. Then you have, well, the Last Supper and the Upper Room Discourse, and then the next day, on 14th Nisan, Jesus dies on the cross at the time the Passover lambs are being sacrificed. That's how John presents it. And John's timing here is very precise. He's very, being very specific in terms of how many days and all that sort of thing, laying out the calendar. So how do we reconcile this with Jesus' statement to his disciples that he earnestly desired to celebrate the Passover with them? Well, I, I should note one other thing before we go on. Uh, John's chronology seems to be right. It, is, it would be very difficult to explain how, during the festival, the Pharisees and Sadducees, the teachers of the law, the priests, would be able to go to Pilate. If the festival has already started, they couldn't do that without becoming unclean. Further, they said very specifically, we don't want to arrest Jesus during the Passover because otherwise the people will riot. Arresting them just before would solve that problem. So I, it looks like John probably has it right. But then how do we explain Jesus' statement about earnestly desiring to celebrate the Passover? How do we explain the connection that seems to be there between the triumphal entry and the selection of lambs coming into the city? There have been several ways that people have suggested to resolve the problem. Um, one of them is that, uh, well, 
different Jewish groups used different calendars to determine when the Passover was. We know, for example, the Essenes did not celebrate it at the same time as the, the, uh, the temple in Jerusalem did. So it may be that Jesus is using a different calendar and therefore celebrating the Passover uh, a day before the rest of the Jewish world does. That's one possibility. A second possibility is that um, Jesus may simply have decided as the Messiah, as the one uh, who gives the definitive interpretations of the law and everything else, Jesus decided that since he was going to be sacrificed on the Passover, he would celebrate Passover with his disciples a day early. As the Messiah, if, the, if Jesus said, we're going to do Passover a day early, especially in view of the fact that the Essenes had a different calendar, I don't think the disciples would have been too upset about that. I think they'd have gone along with it. Another possibility is that Passover, according to some people I've read, they suggest that Passover, well, the law says that all the lambs have to be sacrificed by priests at the temple. And the fact is, with all the thousands of people in Jerusalem, it's not clear that the priests would have had enough time to sacrifice a lamb for every household and every visiting household in the city. So Passover then would be celebrated over two days just to accommodate everybody, which would then allow Jesus to celebrate the day early, but still be crucified on the official Passover. Now, I have read this, but I haven't been able to verify it in any really good sources. But that is another possibility, which I find rather attractive because what that would then mean is four days before the first day of Passover gets us to the triumphal entry. And he would then still be coming in with the lambs because you have to have them four days in the city, four days before the sacrifice. So that's another possibility. Uh, another, the, the most common answer among Jewish scholars who examine this question, and there are several, is that it wasn't a Passover meal, that Jesus did not actually celebrate a Passover meal with the disciples. Now, many Messianic Jews, Jewish rabbis, will do presentations about how Christ is in the Seder. There are all of these, the, the Seder ceremony, there are all these indications that point to Jesus throughout the ceremony. And I find those really very compelling. But uh, as a historian, there are some uh, difficulties, there's some challenges that that raises. First of all, the Haggadah, the book that they use for the, uh, for the Passover, the Haggadah, we have no early examples of it. It seems to have been developed much later. In fact, the earliest statement we have about the Passover, about how it is celebrated, comes from Rabban Gamaliel. Now, that may be the Gamaliel of the New Testament, or it may be his grandson, also named Gamaliel, also with the title Rabban. And what he says is that the essentials of the Passover are roast lamb, unleavened bread, and bitter herbs. Nothing else. Nothing about the wine, nothing about you know, the, the, the formal Seder that we see. So it's not clear how the Seder was even celebrated in Jesus' day, or if we should even use the word Seder. We do know that they celebrated Passover, though. And what's notable, when we look at the Lord's Supper, we see bread and wine, which would have been elements of any meal, any Jewish meal in the day. We don't see any reference to the bitter herbs or the roast lamb. And so there are people, the Jewish scholars in particular, suggest that the Last Supper was actually just a typical Jewish dinner, and then that Jesus would be crucified uh, on the official Passover. So those are several of the possible ways that people have suggested to resolve the issue. Personally, I like the idea of uh, the Passover going over two days. It makes practical sense, and it makes sense of everything that we're seeing in the Gospels but I cannot verify that with, um, I've not been able to find solid sources to indicate that that was in fact the practice. Um, in any event, what we do know, whatever the answer is, is that Christ is our Passover, sacrificed for us, that he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, and that through his death, he proclaims really the, the thing that the Exodus was pointing to, 
the deliverance from Egypt, the deliverance from slavery in Egypt, which creates the nation of Israel, sets up the giving of the law. And the, the Old Covenant, with Jesus' death, he provides us with the, the true exodus, where we are freed from slavery to sin, we are freed from our bondage to death, and where the New Covenant is then begun in his blood.